Officers were hanging out when they just received a call about an elephant who was trapped into a jaw bomb and lying feebly near a paddy field. No sooner the team rushed towards the place with all the necessary medicines in order to save another life. It was raining heavily when the officers reached the place. However, despite the rain, villagers were gathered around the elephant. Thus, they never wanted to give up. Drenched in the heavy rain, treatments were commenced. Elephants prefer to stay alone when they are no more in the comfort zone of moving tie tie with other elephants. That too would have been the reason for this elephant to come into the sight of humans. Somehow or the other, it certainly is a wise decision of this intelligent creature to stay close to the village in the vicinity of human beings and not to vanish into the forest with an injury of this nature. The observant and kind villagers looked after this wild elephant by giving it various things to eat until the officers arrived for help. He was a young elephant, but vets found him weakened since he was unable to munch. To energize him, saline was given to an ear vein after sanitizing the skin. Officers observed that his tongue was swollen and his mouth kept open since the bomb blasted inside his mouth. These jaw bombs are man-made, and they are hidden inside of foods such as pumpkin and watermelon. Usually, they are spotted to conserve crops from wild pigs and boars. However, with droughts, elephants are coming to the villages to seek food and water. When they eat the pumpkin with a jaw bomb placed inside, their jaws get damaged. Yet, the jaw bombs are not focused on the elephants. Many elephants have severe injuries by biting into them. This elephant was frail, even his eyes were also drowned. This is the plight of most elephants who invade the village to find their food. After some inspection, the wildlife officers decided to administer saline to the animal before going into any other step of treatment. They disinfect the ear flap of the animal and connect a cannula to start off. The vets also prepare medicines such as antibiotics, multivitamins, and painkillers to be given to the animal. All these medicines are made on the spot by these vets, according to an elephant body weight formula. These medicines will fight infection, boost immunity, and reduce pain, thereby energizing the animal in a short period of time. These medicines are mixed into saline and are administered through IV. The whole procedure dragged about five hours long and officers did their best to save him. This elephant was fallen in a recently sowed paddy field. By now, the news has spread among the villagers who have come into the forest to see and help. Regardless of the human-elephant conflict, in situations like this, the villagers always come in to help. Even though the crops get destroyed, people have no anger on them. Villagers were also shocked to see him and they have given him some food which are easy to digest. They should be appreciated for this kind gesture.
While the saline is gushing through, the vets decide to give him more drugs to energize him. The medicines they are now planning to give the animal cannot be mixed into the IV saline, so they are planning to inject them separately, intramuscularly. After that, vets began to clean inside the mouth. Officers washed the mouth using disinfected water and saline. After they washed the mouth properly, vets realized that nothing has happened to the jaw bones. Only the tongue was damaged. It gave them a bit of relief since the elephant can be recovered. Then vets apply povidone iodine as an antibacterial dressing on both the tongue and the jaw. This helps to prevent bacterial infections spreading any further. The task of this wildlife conservation team is to make the best use of the available resources and restore the elephant to a better health condition, where he could survive on his own. After finishing all the necessary treatments, they removed the saline. Then they give a push to reinstate him. 
Even though the officers tried hard to stand him up again, the elephant didn't respond to their commands. Finally, the team left the place, but they appointed a person to observe him. When that person arrived in the next morning, the elephant had left. He could walk properly since he was not in a critical stage. He was weakened due to a lack of food. However, vets will continue the treatments again until he is fully recovered. These types of damages are frequent and they are caused as a result of the human-elephant conflict. There are many alike conditions in a forest. Most of the elephants console the heavy pain for days and sometimes for months. Luckily, this young elephant was reached by the officers. We are very grateful to the rescue team for doing such a great mission. We are grateful to the entire wildlife team who completed this mission successfully.